welcome back guys with part three of this series and this is the jet sentai skyman and we are taking a look at the white rangers megazord and her design now i'm just gonna let you guys know it is some very spicy chips so my mouth is hot very 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 hot and i cannot get this taste out of my mouth so just expect me to do that right there what i just did so anyway here it is the zord there ranger um we have 777 because it's the seven ranger and then you have right here what is the usa symbol you can't see the s all the way it's not picking up but there's black in the middle that separates it oh man the marker kind of bled a little weird i don't know but just see the ranger let's get out of there okay that's all we have to talk about for that wasting time so here is the zord now you already know this is a carriage system uh it does roll on those wheels as you guys know it's the same dealio as the last two but just the other jets so we're gonna take a look at white's jet first since it's her review this is what we got and it's very interesting it's one of the uh i could say thicker jets uh if you compare that to blues or just looking at reds and for this formation you're gonna need black and red and all the other five the colored rangers they all ride in reds for this so they don't need their other jets to come out and stuff and then black and then white with hers so pretty interesting um i love the colors here this jet is really nice with the white um you got a nice look man just really nice with the blue in there and the gold and the red it just really fits so this is a really cool design there for the white we're going to take a look at her silver one right here which is also another sleek interesting jet really cool uh we have red and then some white going on with yellow and you know just sort of the basics with the gray going on and then we're going to take a look at their navy blue one which is personally my favorite because i love blue so here it is right here with the gold it's very different too but i really like how this looks uh you can also position these here which is pretty cool so it can get like a super speed mode and you just see it has the gray under there with the black uh really cool thing going on with the red going on in the uh cockpit with this gold accent going on so everything looks really nice i like it a lot so let's form it up into the uh megazord which should be the easy part by taking these off i also have chocolate on my hands whoops i ate chocolate cake mm. still tastes good a little treat i didn't even know that was on my hands wow i just got done eating pizza and stuff and chocolate cake and some hot chips so hot so we're gonna take these off and we're gonna stand this guy up right and now we're going to raise it you know we had to raise it because this guy gets pretty freaking tall so we're gonna split the legs with a simple transformation fold that in boom boom get these and if you've noticed for each review when I take these pieces off, they all sort of uh, attach a little different. So this one goes here like that, or was it this way? I can't remember. I think it was this way. No, it was definitely this way because the clip was facing. I'm just sort of thinking out loud. I totally forget sometimes where these go. Uh, bam, there's that. That is the giant body. Now the next step, we're just going to get red and... We're gonna plug it in here if I can get it to fit. Let me see. I think it's gonna do better on this side. Bam. Okay, there's red. And then you also get black to plug in right there. Boom, boom. Now the next step silver goes here. And then blue, you fold those up. He goes there like that so, and then we're gonna get white and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fold those in fold these out and we're going to plug it in the head bam and the next step these swords get these and I just sort of 
pull this out of nowhere. Just put these right here. And he got this giant saber that goes into the blue's hand. Like that. It's this super huge sword. I don't know. I was thinking crazy. I was just like, let's do that. So here's the sword. You already know the articulation, but we'll go over it. 360 working ratchet. They do move up and down. This one probably looks the coolest. Uh, I don't know the name for it, so I'll just put the name in the title, and then you'll see. But it's a really nice sword. Uh, the legs do kick. Oh, they fold in and out. That little piece that sits on the bar, it always comes off. And, you know, if you're not holding it correctly, everything will pop off accordingly. You know it is Lego. So it doesn't really matter, but it sits sturdily. You just... Is that, if that's even a word if it's pretty sturdy so that's pretty much all I can say I'm so glad to uh, finally be done with this because geez I'm ready to get on to the next build you guys understand like this one is cool but I got so much more to show you guys a lot that I have not shown you uh, yeah that sort of moves <laughs> in a fashion like that but you know here it is the head is articulated to go 360 so, you know, let's get into the limb swapping, shall we? All right, so first we're going to start off with this, and we're just going to fold that up like that. And there is a head with the eyes, mouth, and just a piece right there. It's like a giant jet head. So that's going to go there. We're going to get this one, fold that up, and we're just going to place it here. And this was the same deal. I don't know why I took it off, but I just did. But uh, boom, there's that with the blue. Here's a giant sword, which I highly doubt could fit in that hand so I know it could fit in this hand and this is going to be absurd because of how large the sword is boom yeah it's gonna fall off easily instantly it's too heavy it can't fit for that hand it's really made for that one but let's sit that down there's that with the blue and then I guess we can open it up if you want to but uh nah I don't know we're gonna do this one which is the next one take this Plug it on there, and now when we get this silver one, we are going to fold this backwards or forward. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, the sword can now go back in Blue's hand. Because I, I think his supports it best. It's a little wider, so he really has a better grip than the other ones. They're a little thinner. So here is that. It's very tall. You see his head. Here's the sword. <laughs> this thing is huge, man. I'm telling you, this is huge. This is just a joy to have. It's just so freaking large. Uh, I really love this build. He's a little waddly, but if he waddles, he's going to land on a huge platform, so he's not going to really fall. But really, overall, really interesting sword. It's humongous. Dude, what are you doing? It's huge. And it's bulky. So that's pretty much it for this review, guys. And this is Power Breaks signing off. Peace.